Hey everyone, Forrest here, and first off, those of you who wanna get right into the content of this video, I've left timestamps down below so you can skip this introduction. But for my longtime viewers, I wanna provide a little bit of an update because it's been a while since I've made a YouTube video. The main reason is, since April, I've actually been working as a full-time contractor for Adobe. And this is a perfect lead into this video because all of the stuff that we've been working on is now inside of Photoshop. I've been part of the Photoshop team, the design team, and our main job, my main job, and, and the team of people that I work together with, uh, has been to build in-app, so inside of Photoshop, learning content to help people learn Photoshop. And it's really cool, and it's here now and I can show it to you and I'm so excited about that. So let's go ahead and dive in. First thing I want to say is you're going to need the Photoshop beta in order to see all of the content. You can see some of the content in normal Photoshop, but you'll need the beta to see all of it. The beta is easy to get. Um, if you open up your Creative Cloud application, you can go to apps over here on the left. You can go to beta and then under beta, you can install the Photoshop beta. And that's where you're gonna see more content. So get the beta downloaded and then open Photoshop and we'll dive in. All right, so here I am in the Photoshop beta. Again, this is available in normal Photoshop as well. You just won't see as much content. Once you're in Photoshop, you can go up to the little light bulb icon up here in the upper right hand corner, and this will open up the discover panel. In the Discover panel, you can click on Skills and that will bring up the Quick Skill Guide. All right, now that we are in the Discover panel and we're in the Skills section, how do we interact with the Quick Skill Guide? Well, the purpose of the Quick Skill Guide is to essentially help you learn Photoshop in very quick, digestible pieces. I think those of you who've tried to learn Photoshop before, either successfully or unsuccessfully, you'll know that it's pretty overwhelming the amount of tools and panels and menus and things like that. And even wading through stuff that maybe doesn't apply to you as a photographer because it's for a digital artist. Well, the skill guide can really help with that. And there's essentially three levels of information for each how-to video inside of the skill guide. Let me give you all a quick example. So let's say that we're scrolling through the skill guide and we're like, ooh, cool, there's a stylized section. I wanna stylize a photo or learn more about stylizing a photo. So if I open this up, we can see there's four videos here to choose from. And one of them is called Add Movement with Blur, so motion blur. Well, that's cool. So if I click on this, this'll give me level one of information. This is kind of like the quick overview of what you need to do in order to add movement with blur. And we can see the first thing is select the subject and copy it to a new layer. And when there's blue highlight, it'll actually show us where to go to do those different things. We can see there it's highlighting layer, new layer via copy. Step two is to duplicate the background layer and convert it to a smart object. And again, it shows us where to do that. So if you know a thing or two about Photoshop, this is kind of the level at which I would interact with the skill guide. You can just very quickly see, hey, where's this, where's that, where's path blur? Oh, let me mouse over it. Oh, it's under filter, blur gallery, path blur, awesome. That's level one. Level two is we can go even more in depth with a video or with complete written instructions. And the really cool part about this is you actually get a photo, an image example, with the video and the written instructions. So if I click here to watch the video, we'll let it load for a second. All right, so here's the video all loaded in. You'll notice if we play it and listen. The still photo look like it's in motion. Use path blur. That's my voice, I'm in Photoshop. So like A, just that's just kind of cool. It's like, wow, this is pretty sweet. Uh, but B, there's a video here and the video, it actually plays and it runs through how to do this on the photo that loaded in your workspace. So you can see this image loaded here. You can edit it. You can walk through the process along with the video, which is really cool. So you don't have to like go find a photo that you want to apply motion blur to or path blur to. You can just use the photo that we've kind of put here for you. So that's level two is watch the video and kind of see and follow along. Level three is the written instructions. You can see here there's complete written steps, step by step through this whole process. So I really like to think again, there's three levels of information, depending on how much help you need along the way, you can kind of interact with it differently. So the skill guide is there. It's got tons of content in it, tons of different videos. They're all very directed toward a certain outcome. So adding motion blur or replacing a sky or things like that. And they all have all three of those things. They have the quick overview, the written instructions, the video, and in addition, there's actually an image example that loads into your workspace that you can follow along with. 
The other thing I wanna mention is there's a special category called essentials. And inside of essentials, these are a little bit more conceptual. So the other how-tos, the other videos are very focused on achieving an outcome. Um, essentials are more about learning. So I will say if you're brand new to Photoshop, I would probably start with essentials because that'll really give you a good firm foundation with which to build on. And a lot of the other content will reference back to the knowledge that you'll learn inside of essentials. So if you're brand new, I would start here. If you've been using Photoshop for 20 years, like, well, probably the skill guide's not totally for you. Uh, but anyway, essentials is not really where you need to start. But again, if, if I look at this, we can go into say navigating quickly. And again, we have the same thing. We get the asset, we get the video, we get the thing. Hey, look, it's my name, it's me in Photoshop. So pretty cool. Uh, anyway, that is all there for you. So again, open Photoshop, the beta's got more content, click the light bulb and you can get right into it. All right, everybody, that summarizes kind of showing you a little bit about the skill guide. It's pretty cool. I will say if you're a beginner or an intermediate Photoshop user, I highly recommend opening up the quick skill guide, clicking around and seeing. I know a lot of brand new Photoshop users who are totally overwhelmed or maybe you've never even tried Photoshop, but it's part of your subscription and you're curious about it. I think the quick skill guide can really help you. And again, you don't need your own images yet, right? If you're worried about like, oh, I don't know what image to use, there's image examples along the way. So that's a pretty powerful powerful tool there as well. All right, everybody, if you like this video, drop a like down below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and hit subscribe to stay up to date with future videos. I don't know what my posting schedule will be moving forward. I'm gonna try to rebuild some consistency, uh, but this was really exciting. I really wanted to share it with you all because it's in the beta, it's there. Uh, and again, I think it's a really powerful tool for those of you who wanna learn more about Photoshop. All right, everybody, thank you and hope to see you in a future video.